thought that going outside was a fun thing for children or humans people. Well, I guess we're just going to have to find an opponent. An opponent? You mean someone to fight? No, an opponent as a、uh, what you say, friends. I think humans people have friends, and so outside is more fun. How can we find this opponent called a friend? I don't know. Go to somewhere, someone if we see him and ask. Affirmative. Okay. Hi, are you new around here? Oh, uh, affirmative. Nanda, you're not supposed to say affirmative. Humans, people don't understand. Uh, yes. Uh, sister, I'm I'm very confused. Uh, why do we want to play with these losers? Hey, sorry, that's just my twin, my twin sister.、Uh, I told you, I'm not just your twin sister. Yeah, but that's what you are, aren't you? Yeah, whatever. I don't even want to play with you anymore. You guys want to be my friend because you guys do look lonely. If not, then I could just leave now. If it were my sister and I was gonna play tag or hide and go seek here, but you know, we don't have to if you guys don't want us here. You know, my sister's a little brat. Um. Yeah, sure. But could we do um? What if high profile of a technique of activity, also known as hair? Yeah, let's、uh, do each other's hair. It seems more valuable and、uh, self conscious, you know. Uh, sure. Let's do each other's hair. My real, my sister really needs it. Why is your hair so nappy? Doesn't mom even care about you? Oh wait, no, she cares about me since my hair was long and beautiful. I only did a little tiny bit to my hair. It's not like it looks ugly or anything. A tiny bit. What were you trying to do anyway? Look, I didn't want to look like some Rapunzel girl like you. I didn't want to copy your style, so I made my hair a little tiny loose. That's it. Why? Rapunzel usually has her hair down and long. The only time in that movie was when she went escaped, and then she met some girls. Because her hair was so long, and everyone kept stepping on it. We aren't copying her if we wear it all the time. Whatever. I'm just trying to find a way to fix this hair because it, it's so perfect. There's nothing wrong with the curliness and the ping pongs. Affirmative. I do my hair every single night. You do your hair. Don't your mother have this responsibility for that? Oh well. You see, we've come from another. Um. Uh. I mean. We're adopted. Oh, adopted. Still, isn't your parents the most? Is the person who has the responsibility of doing your hair since you're such a young age? No, we're so used to doing our own hair. You know, we just、uh, got adopted yesterday. You know, we're used to doing our own hair. It's it's better because I feel like none adult or humans person could ever do this. Humans person? You mean your mom or your dad or? Affirmative. Yes, the parent issue. Yes. Don't worry. My sister's hair is very messed up too, and this rose is not going to make it look any better whatsoever. I don't have time to do my hair. It's not like we barely go outside anyway. We're mostly inside making plans in our space. Um, were you about to say spaceship? Because. Everyone knows the spaceships aren't just given to some girls. You know, we don't believe in all that crap. Like other planets with human beings. Like, come on, there's no such thing as aliens. What? Are you serious? You guys are more dumber than dumb and dumber. Don't be mean to our new friend. Yes, they are stupid, which they don't know that aliens could be. 
I mean, is. There's no way we could, uh, a human person land could be the only thing in this galaxy. You know, I've heard that humans person can go to a star, which means that it cannot, a humans person's eyes cannot see in real life that aliens aren't real. You can't just assume something when they could be real. I'm sorry for calling you stupid, but it's really dumb of you to think that aliens aren't real. And what is with this? Why does humans person always call it an alien? We call them high intelligent prophexes. It means high intelligent species on other planets, such as us. Could we tell you the secret without you guys exploring it to everyone? Also known as telling everyone because we don't like that. Long period later. Whoa! Cool! So you guys are really are alien are, are very high intelligent species on other planet? That's really cool. And we do believe now. But... Um, what are you guys doing on Earth? All the things you could do in your other planet, you came to Earth for what? Oh, let's just say me and my sister's done bad things. We'll tell you the whole story. When we were in our other planet, there was a queen. And her name was Queen... And, of course, I forgot her name or something, but who cares? Her? We call her Queen N. She ruled the galaxy in which our planet contained. And let's just say we broke one of her rules. Me and her were very little before, and we took one of her precious crowns. The most precious crown that keeps her alive. If that crown would have gone to someone else, then that crown would obtain the other person's soul and not hers. And make her die at, and someone else's soul in it. Which means whoever wears that thing is will the thing will protect them as long as we protect the crown. And we took it and we almost killed her. But of course we have not wore the crown the queen's crown but we were sensing if we ever did anything else bad then we would have to be um, executed that in our planet you can only make some mistakes before you have to be executed and be killed now, that was our first mistake, but it was the most biggest mistake any of us could done, could have done. And so, because that mistake was something that could ruin the so-called our queen of the galaxy we contained in our planet, she said that that was so big of a dangerous problem that... We only had one chance. If we couldn't do that, we blew it. So we ha we couldn't make any more mistakes after that. We made one. We stole and stole only for our precious sick mother. Our mother was sick and she lay there. Our mother died a few days ago. After stealing so much for her, we couldn't, we couldn't bear to think. We stole and stole, but the medicine wasn't strong enough. And the ultimate medicines were somewhere safe and secured, that we had no idea where it was or what the passcode for it. So our mother passed away a few days after all oh, the stealing. We probably stealed 150 medicines and food and all that stuff whoa after our mother died we had to move on and if moving on to the next step 
we, um, we, uh, <clears throat> um, the queen figured out our finger prints of our hands and fingers. And so, as they rushed to our little cabin where we stayed up on top of the alien space mountain, or high intelligent plant high intelligent species planet livers mountain we lived there on a mountain and they found us they knew that we stole and they knew that we tried to get the ultimate medicine thing was our mother was so sick we didn't understand why any doctors would not give her ultimate medicine We were poor on the planet, but where there were no such thing as what you he humans person have. You humans person have a thing of paper called money, which we do not understand. How can money control one's living? Us. Me, me and my sister and my mother were only poor because of one thing. We were poor because we chose to be. Now, we didn't want to have all of the other stuff, all the things that they did on our planet, so we chose to live that way. But enough of that. They found us. And she said it was a last mistake and that she was going to ex execute us and kill us and take our soul so she could have another one and live. She already had 50 of them by executing people who only made mistakes out of certain things that are issues like we have. We weren't going to let it happen. She said we had one more night until she would do it so everyone can watch us die. And so me and my sister had to decide what we was going to do on our last night.